All right, so <clears throat> this is a glitch that's currently in Stellaris on PS4. It is currently June 1st, 2020, in the midst of crazy pandemicness. I am Alpha Swarm. This was a multiplayer game that me and a friend were playing. He was Sigma Swarm, I was Alpha Swarm. The Scourge just landed, we crushed them, so this game's over. And I figured this is a good game to use to demonstrate this glitch because I've already got a bunch of fleets set up and a bunch of shipyards so I can demonstrate it quickly. This shipyard is going to be for the Corvette ships that I've got. My battleships are over here and my destroyers are over here. I don't have any cruisers, they weren't really necessary this game. The destroyers weren't even necessary, I built them for fun basically. So. My ships are currently specced for whatever. Corvettes were just energy. This was for the swarm. And my battleships are a bit of a mess because I was respecking for the swarm without hoping to be messing up my standard spec for my battleships. So, we've got to make things easier. This is my current battleship spec. I'm going to change this. That's enough. I will do the same with Corvettes, only I'm going to go even further and downgrade it to the worst weapons possible. Just to hammer in the demonstration and we'll do the destroyers as well just cuz why not we'll change that so basically all I've done is taken ships I currently have changed the layout for an upgrade so that I can upgrade them So, they can now be upgraded. It costs 935 minerals rounded to upgrade. For four different fleets at about the same strength, that's about 4,000 mineral or 4,000 alloys. The battleships will cost about 1,400 for these two fleets, and then another 500, so about 2,000. Plus 4,000 is 6,000 alloys for that and then for the destroyers another 2,000 so 8,000 odd alloys should be spent in order to upgrade all of these ships I'm currently at 35k with a thousand income shutting that down to make this perfect would be a pain so I'm not gonna bother doing that it's going to be pretty obvious that my alloys are going up much faster than my income would allow. So let's just get it going here. Upgrade all of these fleets and then we'll watch the alloys jump. Corvettes will do this the fastest. I'm only including the other ship types because it demonstrates that it works with all ship types. And we shall watch my alloys rocket. I should actually show the shipyard so we can see the ships coming out. Technology conceived. Our construction is complete. And it's going up. With every completion of ships upgrading, there is a corresponding addition to my alloys. I'm not going to try and pretend that it's a huge amount it's not like every single wing of ships getting upgraded is adding 10,000 alloys to my stash but it's pretty obvious that it is adding alloys to my stash quite a few. My first Corvettes have upgraded, second one's now beginning, 
first battleship fleet and first destroyer fleet are still in progress. I can't remember exactly what I started with. I believe it was around 34 or 35k. In the span of a couple of months, I've jumped 20,000 alloys. Approximately. And this can be done over and over and over again. Right from the beginning of the game, even if all you've got is your three Corvettes, you change that up. Change it from red lasers to... Oh jeez, I can't remember what it's called. Coil guns? No, that's the second level. Mass drivers. Mass drivers and red lasers. You switch between them or even the shields and hull, you'll be getting a ton of alloys real quick early game. That's the first destroyers done. I'm at 60k now, it's still going up. Almost doubled the alloys that I started with just by upgrading three fleets of 40 corvettes and my first vengeance or battleship fleet hasn't even finished the first destroyer fleet has ignore all the alerts this game's over so I'm not bothering with any of that not even got the save going it's just gonna run and I'll quit cause there's no point in continuing this game And the alloys just keep jumping. It's pretty obvious that they're going up despite the fact the month hasn't flipped over and there's nothing else going on that could be giving me alloys. My economy for alloys is decent, but this is definitely all upgrades. So if you were looking for an entertaining video, I apologize, that's not what this was about. This was about demonstrating a glitch in Stellaris that is active right now. I'm going to be posting this uh, link to this video on the Stellaris forums in a bug report that I've already put in there. Hopefully this will get taken care of because even if you're not trying to abuse this glitch, any upgrade of any ship class to any ship class is going to give you free alloys. There's no way around it. The only way you can not get free alloys right now in the game is by never upgrading your ships. I hope you all have a great day, and if this is useful to you, well, I'm glad it was, but hopefully it won't be for long. Hopefully they get this fixed, because this has basically turned the game into a mess. Have a great day. Bye.